Storm Team 2 meteorologist Cameron Saliga with the Miami Valley Certified Most Accurate Forecast. Yeah, we will be seeing a chance for some uh, showers and thunderstorms today, and that's a good time to bring out the drought monitor because over the next seven days, there's not much chances of rain. The good news is, is that we don't have uh, much of a drought. Uh, we just have a normally dry uh, conditions up to the north in those northern counties. I would assume after this next week, though, we'll see some of those uh, be added to the to the map there outside on the Goodwill Auto Auction camera. A quiet start to the morning hours quiet in terms of the weather. We do see some fog through the Miami Valley here into the uh, morning. We have some areas with reduced visibility, so give yourself a little extra time on the roads as you head out the door. 65 your current temperature and the uh, dew point at 61. We'll have those dew points today a little bit higher than yesterday, getting in the mid 60s, so we'll be a bit more humid today than yesterday and those highs up north not quite getting up to the 80 degree mark uh, for everyone, but uh, we do hit the 80 degree mark there in Troy and going further south. We'll see the temperatures for the most part in the 80s in the southern half of the Miami Valley through the afternoon hours before those showers and storms make their way through. Live Doppler 2 HG is all quiet here as we start your morning off, but as we zoom on out, we do see the system that's pushing on through here later in the day. You see some of those storms already uh, already intact up into the uh, Great Lakes, and we have that low pressure into Canada here at the moment, but uh, again, that's going to push through here later in the daytime. Temperatures in the 50s in Versailles, but uh, everyone else in the 60s. We see 62 in Springfield, 62 Wapakoneta, and 65 here in Dayton. Looking at your severe outlook today, we do have a marginal risk. We're not expecting uh, a tornado risk, but we do have a chance for isolated, isolated damaging winds and hail. So that's uh, something to take into consideration through the daytime. And here we will track this out. You see some fog there on the model. We'll still continue to see that. Going through the uh, mid morning hours, we'll eventually see the temperatures rise and that fog fade away, but eventually we'll have clouds to replace it in the afternoon and chances of showers going into the three o'clock hour and even a possibly rumble of thunder and then more chances of showers, thunderstorms going into the early evening before the uh, that moves out and we see the skies clear. Just in time for your Friday, we'll see some uh, cumulus clouds start to form there tomorrow in the afternoon, partly cloudy through your daytime. 83 today, the thunderstorm chance is there in the uh, afternoon. 57 tonight with an early thunderstorm. And the next seven days features temperatures getting up into the 90s, a little heat wave as we go into the work week. We see those temperatures upwards of 94 degrees.